In this step, you're going to describe the business mechanics of your operations and hire strategic partners and vendors. Give some thought to how you're going to get your product or service produced. If you're a consulting service, for example, you might be a one-man shop, so the operations are pretty straightforward. You are the operations. However, for many other business owners, there are going to be a lot of other considerations. Are you going to be the reseller or middleman for your product? Are you going to be setting up a production plant and produce it yourself? Or are you going to be seeking out a strategic business partner or a strategic partner who can actually produce this product for you, effectively outsourcing? To cost-effectively address these, you'll probably have to consider forming a strategic relationship with a key vendor. At minimum, they'll supply you with your key inputs, i.e. your ingredients. Some businesses, however, will outsource the entire production and distribution process, be they baked goods, printed material, clothing, what have you. For example, you make amazing baked goods and you want to sell them. You can go out, lease a space, hire the staff, buy the equipment, or you could actually outsource all of this. You could find a strategic partner who will take your recipes and with quality control standards, they can make and distribute them as good if not better than you could. This allows you to focus on the customer experience, the branding, the sales, and really creating a top-notch customer experience. You've described who's going to produce your product. Now you've got to think about how you're going to get that product produced. Create a diagram of the entire production process and how everything is going to flow. Make sure you include at critical junctures who's responsible for what. Is it you? Is it your strategic partner? Maybe it's a combination of the two. For example, if you have an internet business, how will you fulfill online orders for customers? If you have a strategic partner, how will you pass along information so that they can fulfill and deliver that product to the customer? Or if you have a retail store, how will you manage inventory, i.e. keeping product on store shelves? The last part of the operations plan, a critical component, is to really determine how many products you can actually produce. This is really going to help you assess your sales potential. If you're in a building, four walls, you can only produce X number of units. However, if you're selling something online and you have a strategic business partner, you might be able to sell thousands of units. So in your own situation, think about what your constraints are and determine what your production capabilities actually are. Remember, if you need help, go to the Wicked Star Community tab and seek guidance from experts and peers along the way. Also, under the My Files tab, you can save and manage all your documents in connection with your business idea. We're here to help you get going. Good luck with completing all the action items in this step. Mm -hmm.